You may have looked into a starry night sky and wondered how we can see things like the craters of the moon, the rings of Saturn, or even a distant nebula or a galaxy millions of light years away. Well, all of these things are within reach with the use of a telescope. First, let's understand what a telescope truly does. Yes, it does bring things in closer for you, but that's not what's really pulling in the object. The object we want to see is very far away and very faint. So what the telescope is really doing, at least its primary purpose, is to gather more light for our eyes to see. When our eyes are fully dark adapted, the pupils in our eyes get to about 7 millimeters in diameter at best. Even the smallest telescope is 60 millimeters in diameter, which actually gathers more than 73 times the amount of light our eyes alone can see. Going to a slightly larger 102 millimeter refractor, such as this telescope here, you can gather more than 200 times the amount of light your eyes alone can see, which is really going to pull in the image. When we talk about a 60 millimeter or 102 millimeter telescope, we are simply referring to the diameter of the telescope lens or mirror, also called the aperture. You could say having a telescope is like having a giant eye to probe the night sky. This light amplification opens up an invisible universe seen in the stars. It is this light gathering ability of a telescope that allows us to see treasures such as the Andromeda galaxy or the rings of Saturn. So just how far can a telescope see? Well, quite literally, billions of light years away. To give you an idea, the human eye can actually see over two million light years away. Our neighbor, the Andromeda galaxy. It's really just a matter of what's bright enough to reach Earth. Now to cite an example for you, an 8 inch telescope can see Quasar 3C273 which is actually over 2 billion light years away and it's well within reach of a backyard telescope. Mm -hmm.